We are going to prove today that the composition of any two decreasing functions is increasing. So what does this mean in terms of what we're proofing in terms of the symbolic notation? What we're saying is that if we have two points x and y, and x is less than y, we want to prove that the composition of two functions, so f and g, of x is increasing. So this would be less than f dot g of y. So what does this mean in terms of a diagram? Okay, let's say that we have a graph here and we have two points x and y. If a function is increasing, what this is going to mean is that the point f of x is smaller than the point f of y. That's just what an increasing function is. So this is the definition that we're going to try to show. So what is the proof? Well, for the proof itself, we are going to start by making some assumptions. So what do we have? We have two decreasing functions. So we're gonna say let f and g be decreasing. So what does a decreasing function look like? Well, if we take a graph, uh, it would look like pretty much the same thing as before, but f of x would be greater than f of y. So what this means is that if x is less than y, we're going to get that f of x is greater than f of y. And this is going to be similar for g as well, then g of x is greater than g of y. Now, in terms of function composition, let's say we have our function and we know that g of x is greater than g of y. Now we want to apply f to it. So we're gonna get f of g of x is some relation compared to f of g of y. Now, what is that relation? Well, remember, it's just like taking in two initial numbers. We're basically saying essentially that y is less than x. So if we have the composite function here, we know that g is decreasing and f is decreasing. Then when we apply the function, we're essentially going to reverse the order here. So we would get in this case that f of y is greater than f of x. So what we get in terms of our inequality is that f of g of x is less than f of g of y, which is exactly what we wanted to show. We assumed that we had two variables, x and y, x was less than y, and then based on the composition, we get f of g of x is less than f of g of y, and this is just the same thing as saying f dot g of x is less than f dot g of y, which is exactly what we wanted to show at the beginning. 